Hello, everybody. My name is Nick Acosta, and I'm a developer advocate at Colate, where I'm helping to make the open metadata community the best place for open source data discovery, observability, and governance. I'm excited to spend the next couple of minutes discussing open metadata and model context protocol. To review, open metadata is the open source metadata management tool that is used for data discovery, observability, and governance that powers Collate. As our community continues to grow, I'm looking forward to even more open source contributors uh, joining us to build a future of how you work with data that is open source and is powering even more enterprise deployments. And now let's take a look at MCP. MCP, or Model Context Protocol, gives AI agents context to make the right decisions. You can connect AI agents like ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude to cloud services and open data silos that ground agents with the proper context to both read data accurately and write changes back to those services. MCP is implemented via a service's MCP server, and that standardizes how to interface across all AI agents. Before MCP, cloud data services would have to write interfaces for each rapidly developing agent but now they can maintain a single MCP server implementation. And MCP servers allow your users to connect to your cloud services via conversational interfaces that they're already familiar with. I'm happy to share that Open Metadata has an MCP server. Our implementation is fully open sourced and enterprise ready by design with all relationships and context captured in Open Metadata's graph that is available to augment AI-driven analysis and automations with no extra components to deploy. We've taken care to leverage Open Metadata's unified knowledge graph to present logical actions and context rather than raw low-level endpoints. So now we're exposing functional tools in place of an AI wrapper, and that makes the interactions more powerful and semantically rich for AI. By using the same authorization engine as the Open Metadata APIs, an agent can assume any role or policy you define, ensuring the proper access to the right data and functional logic to automate operations. We released our MCP server back in June, and it's been really exciting to see and hear the new ways people are using Open Metadata since. Here are just a few. Murad has powered Critio's open metadata environment at the schema level, applying classifications that he'd like to push down to every table within a schema in order to build out layers of a medallion architecture. And Amen uses open metadata's MCP server to pull stats that he can send to a dashboarding service through its MCP server. And we have a video on open metadata's YouTube page where he's detailing this use case. Thanks, Amen. If you have a great use case you'd like to share, we're finding new ways to reimagine how to build with open metadata through its MCP server all the time. So please share them with us. I'd like to quickly share a demonstration myself. We're gonna be showcasing that second use case we just saw, how to automate changes up and down a data stack with open metadata through its MCP server. Let's take a look at that demo. This should look familiar to you. This is open metadata. Here I have my, in my open metadata and some information about a Postgres instance. I have a number of schemas and tables in there, and I built out some classifications or a classification at the schema level. Maybe I want to push those down to all the tables that are uh, contained within that schema. Here you can see that I've certified that this public schema is a gold certified database schema. Pretty easy to do in the open metadata UI, right? And it would be just as easy for me to add that gold certification to all of the tables within this public schema. I could just select a table, select certification, and add gold. I have seven tables here within this particular schema, but imagine I had hundreds, right? And I had to click through and add that certification to each table. There's definitely an easier way here through Open Metadata MCP. To be able to use 
Open Metadata's MCP server, I'm going to be using an open source AI agent tool called Goose. Now, Goose was developed by the Block team to be able to pair AI agents. In this case, I'll be using GPT-4, but you can change my model here in Goose to any type of model provider, all of the models that they offer, and I can compare the or I can pair those with MCP servers. Here, Goose is calling them extensions. You can see the configuration for my Open Metadata MCP server here, and we can turn that on. Now, what I would like to do is take those classifications from that schema level and apply them to all the tables that are listed within that schema. So GPT-4 is going to work through Goose here to reach out to my Open Metadata MCP server and craft tools that determine the information that should be exposed to GPT-4 through Open Metadata. We can see that that gold certification is at the schema level. We can find all the tables within it and apply that certification to all the tables. Now, Goose is going to be preparing uh, those tools you can see I'm going to be patching each table, updating its certification. Now if I go back to Open Metadata, here we can see that familiar schema, still the, all the same tables within it, but now if I drill into each of these tables, they'll all have that same certification that they share with the schema that contains them. Thanks for sharing use case with us, Marat. I was really excited to showcase this particular use case with Open Metadata's MCP server, because hopefully it opens you up to all the options that you have available with this new interface. You can do exactly what I just demonstrated or something very similar, right? Maybe instead of pushing a um, certification from the schema level down to its tables, maybe you want to push that up from the tables up to its schema level. Or maybe you're building out some sort of classification that you want to move across services. You could copy data. Uh, you could be copying data from Postgres to Snowflake. Through Open Metadata's MCP server, you can copy those same classifications that you have built out in Postgres to those copied tables in Snowflake as well. And it's not just certifications here, right? I could uh, add tags and scale those out. I could assign owners to my assets and push that information to new tables, to new services. Again, just having agents do all of that work for me. So if this is something that you would be interested in trying out with your open metadata environment, I have some great news to share about that. We've been working with the block team to open source our very first Goose recipe. Now, Goose recipes make it easier than ever to bund bundle MCP servers with models and get the work that you just saw in those demonstrations accomplished. So I'm happy to share that Open Metadata is the first open source project to publish a Goose recipe, so it should be easy to find here in Goose Docs. I can just select the Use Open Metadata Recipe and you'll be able to find the prompts that I just ran, the instructions for the agent, the open metadata MCP extension, everything that you're going to need to recreate the demo that I just showed. All you'll have to do is scroll down and select launch in Goose Desktop. Once I select launch in Goose Desktop, it will open up a new window for me. I'm just going to re-paste in that same schema that you saw me working on earlier. I had added a data team as an owner to that schema. We're going to push that information down to the tables that are within that schema. You can see it's found that same schema, and I am going to have it do the same thing that we just saw in the demonstration. Just like before, Goose is going to be having GPT-4 interact, facilitate that interaction with my Open Metadata MCP server. I'm calling the tools that allow it to make those changes update each table within my schema with this new owner. This time, I'm having everything written for me by that Goose recipe. And I can jump back into my open metadata instance here. You can see that owner and certification at the schema level. 
and now I have them both for each table within that schema as well.